went down like by 90% literally. And the straws they got are made out of uh, corn. So uh, I turn it over to uh, Patrick Myers, as you know, from WPIB.com. Yeah, hey, about a big round of applause for Ray Fogg, huh? Yeah. As he said, my name is Patrick Myers. I'm the year round radio voice for Quick Bay and Lake Erie Islands. And welcome to the Roundhouse Bar on a very bitter, sweet day. It's bitter because we have to close it down, but it's sweet because we had a great season. Thank you to all of the bartender staff. I have a really great honor here to recognize the efforts of Paula Garstek. Uh, the manager here at the Roundhouse, back in the spring, started something really cool. She thought about our ecology and the Great Lakes that we all love. They're great places and we want the best health not just for our loved ones, but the lake that we all are about. So she thought to herself, hey, we don't need that little plastic straw, so let's start a campaign that says, skip the straw and save the lake. A bunch of other people got involved in it, and lo and behold, it, it took off in a great, great way. Behind me, I've got some great people here. I'm gonna start off with Michael McCann, the owner of the Roundhouse Bar, and Paula Garstead. Certainly Jim Stouffer, part of the Lake Erie Foundation. And over here, three gentlemen from Pernod Ricard. That's French people, a lot more sophisticated than we are. Anyway, they all combined together and they raised a bit of uh, some money. They came up with a corn alternative for the straw to save the lake. Paul, come up and tell, I'll tell the story. Um, so... We got together with um, some other island businesses um, and we started the Skip the Straw, Save the Lake program. We went to a corn biodegradable compostable straw um, and what the Roundhouse did and the other businesses, we um, just did not put straws in our drinks. We had them on demand. So if people asked for a straw, we certainly gave them one. We just didn't put it in the drink automatically. Um, and from 2017, we went through 40 cases of straws, um, 5,000 case pack, and in 2018, we went through seven. So we, that's like an 83% savings. Um, and I was pretty astounded when I just did the numbers. I didn't think, I thought we'd cut it in half, but it was way more than that. And overall on the island, for the businesses that were part of it, um, there was about a 65 to 70% saving on straws. So just doing our little part because we benefit from the lake so much, um, I think it is a great program. We're going to continue doing it. Um, we partnered with Pernod Ricard. Um, some of their well-known brands are Absolute, Malibu, and Jameson. And they agreed um, to do a donation to the Lake Erie Foundation. So I'm going to introduce uh, Steve. So um, it, it did start just like that. So I think uh, in early April, May, we came up, myself and Dan and Nate, and we're up and uh, doing what we do to visit Paula, try to figure out what we're going to do on the islands to um, you know, get some excitement and energy. So we walked into Paula's office, which is Paula's office, which is right out back, and uh, we saw this, this program, what you see on the wall there. And we knew that we were instantly in, in on it. And, um, it's been a great thing for, for us here locally on the island, and then we've also taken that back to the mainland and done some things down in Cleveland. So it's really starting to gain some traction. So um, thank you, Paula, for that opportunity and, and staff and team. And um, I, I guess this is Dan's turn now. So uh, not, not really a lot to say, but um, Paula is really the person that you know brought this thing to the forefront. It's, really her program and uh, you know through her kindness she came to us with it and it's really a no-brainer because we really appreciate you know everybody on the islands all the business owners and the customers in general who support our products and you know uh, um, they all put us in a position to you know serve drinks to everybody and it's just a no-brainer we we appreciated it and you know we're here for years to come to run this program as long as we can and bring as much uh, um, 
knowledge to everybody about saving the lakes because without the lakes, you know, we all wouldn't be here, you know, at this great island. So we thank everybody for that. And with that, we would like to present a check uh, to the uh, Lake Erie Foundation of five thousand dollars from Pernod Ricard. And thank you everybody for supporting uh, putting bay bars in the islands and have a great winter and we'll see you in the summer. One last little thing folks. Um, in the future when you go to a bar and you believe in this cause, we have a symbol for you to show the bartender. You're going to show up one finger to the bartender and then you're going to put a cross on it that says, skip the straw. You know how bars are sometimes, right? Put the finger up and say, no straw. faces of the audience. We cannot thank you enough for the support. I have to say one question. Do you love Lake Erie? Do you love this lake? I don't care if you came over here in your boat, you came over here on the Miller or the Jet, or you came over in a kayak like Lynn Barton did today. We know you love Lake Erie, and we're doing everything we can to represent your interest. Renault Picard and their efforts, the Roundhouse, the McCann family, it means the world to us that we know we have a voice. There's a lot of people out there concerned about Lake Erie. We're here to represent the concerns you have. The businesses, the marinas, the charter captains, all the hospitality industry. And it's all of us coming together to make sure that the issues that are important are represented. So God bless all of you. Thanks for the support. And we'll do our best to keep the lake clean. Thank you. It's now time for Ray Fogg. And unfortunately, we're going to have to put 2018 to bed but we're gonna have a little bit of fun right before. <laughs> 